Michigan State Police have sent over an investigative report to the Kent County prosecutor into the shooting death of Patrick Leoya. It is nowhere near complete. Mara McDonald live downtown tonight with more on what's still missing here. Mara. Devin, the answer to that is plenty in an entire forensic report as well as key details like on the taser. Let me show you. The Kent County prosecutor releasing this statement tonight. While I appreciate the continued work of the Michigan State Police on this incident, as they note in their press release, they have submitted an incomplete report. I will begin to review the materials they have gathered at this time, but I cannot and will not make a final decision until they submit all the necessary information. A move former Detroit Police Assistant Chief Steve Dolan says is wholly appropriate. It's a preliminary of a preliminary investigation. None of the pertinent questions have been answered. MSP says it doesn't yet have the forensics from the body cam or the taser, but Dolan says what he really wants to know begins with why Officer Schur pulled Patrick Leoya over. What drew his attention to that car to say, hey, something ain't right. Do I know the driver? Do I know the passenger? Um, what's going on? People keep saying, well, you can't pull someone over on proper plate. Well, you can. While MSP put out a press release announcing it had sent an investigatory report to the Kent County prosecutor, the NAACP says it wants the prosecutor off the case. Additionally, we are demanding that Chief Winstrom terminate Officer Christopher Schur immediately and start the decertification process that will not allow him to ever serve as a police officer in the state of Michigan. Back here live, so far no word on how those agencies are going to respond to those NAACP demands. Bottom line, MSP has some more work to do here. We're live downtown. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Sure sounds like it. All right, Mara.